Yeah, and it turns out Friday the 13th is not the only time that investors act in superstitious ways. Uh, a number of years ago, actually the middle of 2000, a client was referred to me and she came in with a portfolio of about three and a half million dollars. And it was all in technology stocks. And if you, if you think back a number of years ago, that's right as the tech bubble had started to kind of sell off. And uh, she said, what do you think? And I said, looks like you've done great, but you're not too well diversified. And she said, yeah, I know, I'm kind of concerned. And so it, the thing is, it was worth $5 million just a few months ago. So I'm going to wait for it to go back to $5 million. I'll cash it out, and then I'll bring it to you. Needless to say, she never got that opportunity to cash out at $5 million. And in hindsight, it's very easy to look at that, that behavior and criticize it. But in the moment, sometimes it's very difficult to really make good decisions. Let me give you a hypothetical example. We'll go through two scenarios here. Scenario one, I give you $1,000. That's fake money, so don't spend it. <laughs> give you $1,000, and then you have, to you have a choice to make. A, I give you another $500 guaranteed, or B, you flip a coin. If it comes up heads, I give you another 1,000. If it comes up tails, you get nothing extra. So decide you want A or B. And let's go to another scenario, scenario two. This time, we start with $2,000. Got to make a choice again. First choice, A, I take away $500, guaranteed. Choice B, flip a coin. If it comes up heads, you keep all 2,000. If it comes up tails, you give me back 1,000. Here's the thing. Most people, given those two scenarios, will choose, in scenario one, they'll choose A, where you get the 1,000 and then the $500. Most people, in the second scenario, where you start with $2,000, will opt for the flip a coin and see if you get $2,000 or $1,000. The thing that's interesting is that in both scenario one and two, choice A is the same, a guaranteed outcome of $1,500. And choice B is the same in both as well, where you have to 50-50 chance of $2,000 or $1,000. If you're consistent, you'll take A in both choices or B in both. But most investors will, in the first scenario, take A, and the second scenario, they'll take B, because they're afraid to have that guaranteed loss of $500. And that's a problem because it really focuses on where you came from, the $2,000, rather than where you are. So as we go to new market highs each week, make sure you keep an eye on where you are, not where you came from. Back to you. So uh, remind me to get you my routing number so you can give me that thousand dollars that you were talking about, huh? Yeah, yeah it's in the mail. Okay, yeah, it's, it's always in the mail, isn't uh -huh. it? Right. It's always in the mail with you.